Hi friends. As you may know, our confirmation classes normally take place on Sunday mornings and uh, our new year of confirmation begins on September 11th. But I have the privilege about two Tuesdays a month of meeting with a couple of young ladies who are taking confirmation uh, on, on Tuesday afternoons because uh, their hockey schedules don't permit them to participate regularly on Sunday mornings. It is an absolute joy. I love it. Um, and I wanted to share some insights um, that they shared with me as we were working our way through um, Luther's small catechism. This is what we do in year two confirmation. This is the study edition that we use. Highly recommend it if you want, are looking to get into the catechism because uh, it's got some helpful background and other little notes and so forth in it. But um, part of what Luther goes through in here, the first part actually, is the Ten Commandments. And so we've been working our way through the Ten Commandments, and we talked yesterday about uh, the Fifth Commandment, which, of course, the words are, you shall not murder. And in Luther's explanation of what this is, what this means, he writes, we are to fear and love God so that we neither endanger nor harm the lives of our neighbors but instead help and support them in all of life's needs. And so I asked the young ladies to reflect on um, this sort of expanded understanding of the fifth commandment. Um, no one in this small group has actually committed murder, thankfully. <laughs> but we, we reflected on ways that perhaps we had participated in actions that, that harm. Um, harm the lives of our neighbors, harm, uh, diminish life for others around us. And all of us are guilty of that to some degree. I was amazed at the insight that these young ladies had around this. They talked about gossip. They talked about failure to listen to somebody who's, who's trying to tell you something that they need you to hear. They talked about um, dishonesty. They talked about, um, even we even discussed uh, the overconsumption of resources that sometimes leads to depletion, deprivation, um, uh, climate catastrophe in other parts of the world. And so they had a really uh, expansive view of how their actions, um, even around small things, uh, could sometimes be something that takes life from people. It may not kill them, but it takes life away when we do these things that harm. Uh, when we show disrespect or we, um, uh, when we fail to uh, notice, when we ignore somebody's needs, all of these things diminish, diminish life. But the gals also made a list of all the things that they could do to uh, contribute to the flourishing of life, to enhance life, to heal wounds, uh, to help, help life and help their neighbors in need. Um, and those were things like providing a listening ear, walking alongside somebody who's going through a hard time, sharing what we have with others, and uh, extending and, um, and, and asking for forgiveness. All of these things are things that restore life and sometimes can even yield new life. And so we found out that this fifth commandment, which maybe none of us thought we had much to worry about, um, actually has a lot to tell us about what God intends for us and the way we live together with other human beings. I was uh, touched and inspired by their reflections, so I wanted to pass them on along to you. And uh, maybe along with these um, to middle school gals, you can be thinking about what are the ways that I uh, can avoid endangering or harming the lives of my neighbors, even in small ways. What are the ways I can help and support them in all of life's needs? God bless you, be well, and we'll see you next time.